cities around New Zealand are embracing it. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Uh, Jonathan Young. Mr Speaker, I'm very delighted to, uh, to rise and speak today after my colleague, Honourable Maggie Barry, and uh, what she's talked about is very significant for New Zealand's future. Sir, it's always a good thing, it's a great thing actually, when external reviewers can back up what you have been saying for some time. Because that means that people who are objective, who are outside of whatever system you operate in, can verify through their external measures the validity of your statements. Just toward the end of last year, New Zealand was ranked first in the world in 2016 by the Legatum Institute's Global Prosperity Index. That means that this nation and this government has been transforming our national income into social gains effectively and efficiently better than anyone else. That is what the external reviewers said, who covered 149 nations, totalling over more than 104 different measures. This is their quote. This is what they said. New Zealand has been the best deliverer of prosperity in the world for the last decade. So, so strong is its prosperity delivery, it ranks first in the prosperity index above 26 countries with greater wealth at their disposal. Wow. That's 26 countries that have more money per capita than this nation, yet we surpass them all in terms of prosperity of our citizens. Fantastic. Sir, that is because this government is efficient, this government is effective, this government has great policy settings that benefit the people of this nation. We, sir, determined to have better public services for our people. We determined that the, uh, the, the, the end user, in a sense, the general public, are going to receive the greatest benefit of what this government is able to produce. The Institute said there are challenges in the world. We know that Donald Trump wants to make America great again. The truth is that American prosperity has stagnated over the last decade, sir, and even countries that were less badly affected by the financial crisis, like Australia, have seen prosperity decline over the past decade. That is why many New Zealanders are coming back from Australia into New Zealand, because they see that this is a country where they can get ahead. Sir, where they can find employment, where they can find a future for them and their families. New Zealand's vital signs of health are strong. We are rated first in the world for pr prosperity, first in the world for ease of doing business, first equal for anti-corruption, and second for quality of government, and we intend to make that first. We're on track to reduce government debt to around 20% of GDP by 2020, when we can then resume contributions to the New Zealand Super Fund. We were one of the first developed countries to get back into surplus after the GFC, with 1.8 billion surplus posted the last year. And as the Honourable Michael Woodhouse said, 1st of April we're seeing the minimum wage increase and we're seeing ACC levies decrease. Sir, that is more benefit, that is more money in the back pocket of hard-working New Zealanders. And sir, this government is proud of that, that we want to see the benefit come through to our people. Prosperity is a state of being wealthy, of having a rich and a full life. Let me just bring some uh, quotes from that have come out this last week that give us the reason why New Zealand is increasingly becoming a prosperous place. We have the provisional result of 85.2% of 18-year-olds achieving NCAEA Level 2, or equivalent, in 2016, an overall lift in achievement of 11% since 2011. We are doing far better in our educational achievement than ever before. So that congratulations to students, to teachers, and to their parents for the hard work that they are doing. But the standout achievements have to be noted in Māori and Pacifica communities. Sir, so an estimated 74.7 per cent of, of Māori achieved NCEA Level 2, or equivalent, up from 57 per cent, a 30 per cent lift. And, sir, so in the Pacific community, sir, so a 22 per cent lift. 
We know that higher educational achievements are very much part of the pathway of success for people as they come into an, an employment and a lifelong career in the workforce. So in my final closing remarks, sir, this government is doing a great job for New Zealanders and the world sees it. Mr Speaker. Scott Simpson. Thank you.